everybody, it's Judy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I want to share with you some things that I got from IKEA. So I actually did this haul from IKEA about a month and a half ago. And when I received it today, I forgot what I ordered. So when I was opening it up, it was pretty exciting for me. It was like Christmas. I forgot what I'd ordered. And when I was opening it up, it was like one new thing after another. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the plant pots that I got from IKEA. My general taste is that I like all white pots or pots of a neutral tone and I know that's not to everybody's taste so either this video is going to be really super boring for you or if you're like me really super exciting either way <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. Um, these are just a few ideas of stuff that you can get from Ikea. This video isn't sponsored by them, although if they did want to sponsor me, I would be totally up for that. But this video isn't sponsored. This, all these things are things that I got for myself. So yeah, let's get into this video. Let's talk about the plant pots that I got from Ikea. And yeah, let's get into it. Like I said, I did this poll about a month and a bit ago. I saw on some Facebook plant group that someone had all white pots for all their plants and it to me that aesthetic looked absolutely beautiful and I wanted that for myself so I blacked out went on the IKEA website and checked out their pots now I don't know if you're the same I don't know if it's just me but I personally struggle to find plant cover pots anything bigger than like a 12 centimeter pot anything bigger than that that's a 15 centimeter or bigger I find them to be really super expensive and for some reason just like nothing less than 15 20 25 dollars depending on the pot of course so when I went on the IKEA website I was so incredibly uh, excited to learn that some of these bigger pots weren't any more than eight nine dollars I'll leave it on the screen but I think these ones in particular were like eight dollars seven or eight dollars something like that and so as you can see I got a few so I just want to quickly go over the packaging that the pots came in just really quickly just to show you what you might be in for if you did order from Ikea so like I said I ordered these a month ago it took a while for them to get to me because I'm guessing maybe they were getting the order together packaging it whatever I didn't mind waiting because I wasn't desperate for them but just so you know if you order something this big I don't know if it's just because it's this big or I live in regional Victoria I don't know if it's because of delays a delivery with COVID or because it's a larger order they were getting it together or because I'm in regional Victoria they had to organize some some days for the courier to come up and deliver to my town I don't know if that was the reason why I had to wait a month and a bit for this order to get to me but either way that was the case for me although like I said I didn't really mind I wasn't in a hurry for these however when I got these delivered today I was so excited and it didn't look like the boxes had been thrown around a bit which I was was kind of hoping for because as you can see these pots are fragile they're breakable they came in one two three four five they came in five big boxes when I opened it up oh my goodness the the wrapping the packaging to me it looked excessive but then when I came to a few of the pots that actually arrived broken um, like this one here a couple of these were actually cracked down the sides I was like okay maybe this wrapping packaging wasn't too excessive I know some courier services can throw boxes around and they're not entirely careful but for out of all of these pots only three arriving broken I was pretty impressed by that I contacted IKEA I had to wait on hold for maybe like six to seven minutes they got on with me it was very straightforward I said I had some broken pots they said here's an email address you can send your proof of broken pots to and we Within the hour, I was issued a refund. They said it might take 30 to 35 business days. I was issued a refund within an hour. So it was a pretty simple process for me to get that refund from Ikea. It was pretty straightforward and customer service was like bang on besides the hold that I had to wait on the phone which is fine I'm I'm generally a pretty patient person don't really care as long as the customer service that I get on the other side of that hold phone call was helpful which it was I don't really mind anyway so that was kind of my experience purchasing from Ikea all of this packaging however I'm really happy to say that there isn't a stitch of plastic in it 
which is really, really good because now I can put all of this in my recycling bin or I can burn it, which is actually pretty good. I'm glad there's no plastic in it. It's all recyclable materials. So having said all that, <laughs> having gone through all that, I thought it was relevant to the video in case you guys were interested in purchasing from Ikea. Now I'm gonna talk about the plant pots that I got because I'm actually so, so excited. I'm gonna leave on the screen what they are and how much they cost me, but I'm so excited about this because I haven't been able to find larger-ish plant cover pots for such an affordable price. I think for all of this, delivery to regional Victoria in my town was like $15, and it was $15 regardless of whether or not I bought like two pots as opposed to all of these pots. So I was pretty excited about that, and I made the most of it, as you can see, <laughs> made the most of it. Okay, now let, I'm gonna show you the pots that I got, and I think for this part of the video, I'm just gonna hold the camera, because why not? Okay, this is called the Chia Fron pot, 15 centimeters, and it's got a really nice, almost embossed, not embossed, but reverse embossed looking finish on it. It's quite glossy, the finish as well, and it's a nice neutral gray brown type of tone. On the inside, it looks like it's just a, basically a baked terracotta pot, but I really like that it's got a square finish on the bottom, not like a round base, which I don't really mind, but it's but I like that it's 15 centimeters from the top to the bottom. Sometimes pots can be quite deceiving and the bottom is like a lot smaller than the top rim of the pot is, but I like the look of this and I actually got two of them. I do believe these come in different colors as well, but I again, I wanted to keep the colors of my pots quite neutral and let the plant themselves be the star of the show when it comes to color. So I got two of those. Okay, now this might seem quite excessive, but I got, I actually bought eight of this, but two of these ones arrived cracked and damaged. This is the mascot 15 centimeter, just plain white pots. That packaging left a bit of dust and like cardboard dust all over the pot, so I do need to give them a bit of a wipe down. But again, just your, oh, this one's cracked too. Damn it, I didn't claim that one. Oh well, it was. I think these were only like five or six or seven dollars, so I guess that crack's not too bad. I can keep it at the back and hide that. Anyway, it is what it is. So I bought, actually bought eight of these. I've got now five of them undamaged, but I actually like the look of that. I feel like these would look so beautiful on the shelf. I love that they are a larger size pot. This one is an example of the a 12 centimeter pot. These are smaller pots are really easy to get if you don't wanna spend like too much. But uh, if you've seen any of my plants in any of my videos, you'll know that I have a lot of larger plants that need like larger pots, obviously. There we go, maybe maybe it's okay that you can see my face. <laughs> I'm, it's my day off today, so I'm not made up or anything. Anyway, so I got two of this. This is the Upvaka. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce these names. As you know, Ikea is a Swedish, I think website and obviously the names are all a nod to that <laughs> so I got two of those I run out of the smaller like 12 9 12 centimeter pots but there we go I've got two more now it's got a nice glossy white finish on the front there and like a really plain simple beigey type base ring on the bottom so it's just a little touch of style a little touch of something something and the inside is the same color not that it really matters because you won't be able to see that anyway but the top rim of the pot is the same color as well oh i forgot to mention with the mascot pots it's got these little ridges all around the circumference of the pot not bad and that like a nice little styling moment but without being too flash with the color it's just a little play on texture right there I also got two of these little pots here these are the limit pepper I don't know why I keep trying to pronounce these names I'm butchering them probably this is a 12 centimeter pot and it's got a nice little gold rim moment on the top there I love that I have a bit of gold accents in my in my space here my mirror near the front door is gold um, what else I think that's all I have that's gold at the moment <laughs> but I kind of like the touch of that warmth because I, my my coffee table is a warm tone my bookshelf here on this side 
has a warm tone on it so I kind of liked that little gold moment right there it's got a narrowing tapered down bottom here and the base of the pot I do believe is less than 12 centimeters so if your nursery pot is going to sit in this you'll want the base of it to be able to sit in the bottom but it does have a drainage hole at the bottom as well so these are probably pots that you can pot your plants straight into because it does have a drainage hole in the bottom I forgot to say this one doesn't have drainage holes in the bottom as well as the muscat pots don't have drainage holes in the bottom neither does this one here to be absolutely honest with you though I actually prefer pots without a drainage hole in the bottom because I like to personally keep my plants within the nursery pot that way it's easier for me to change around the cover pots if I want to change the style if I want to move the plants around I don't have to go through the whole process of taking the actual plant and soil out of the pot to change it if that makes any sense I like cover pots that's just the way I roll and that way I can change and move things around without having to repot the whole entire plant which I already said, so let's move on. <laughs> all the other ones now are all muscat, the same line as this one, but just larger sizes. So like I said, this one here is a 15 centimeter, and then I got a 19 centimeter one. This is one of the ones that arrived broken and I ordered two, so I really in reality only have one of this, which kind of makes me really sad because it's a nice size pot. I've got several large plants that don't have cover pots at the moment because any cover pot I found this size would be really super expensive and so I just stuck to the nursery pots and now I have a large pot now and so now I can put it in a cup pot which I'm really super excited about I might even go back and purchase more when I've got a little bit more of a disposable income I might go and do another IKEA order but this is gonna have to do for now so I got this in a 19 centimeter I also got the muscat pot two of them in the 24 centimeter these did not arrive damaged thank goodness and I also ordered it in this big large one and I ordered one large one in the 32 centimeter as well and this really big one here I'm actually gonna put one of my bigger probably my ficus or my ficus longifolia or my um, either my huge monstera one of one of my bigger plants one of my big 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 plants I'm gonna put in that large pot there so maybe in a future video I will show you how I style my plants within my pots probably won't be a really interesting video because it's literally just putting plants in the pots and then styling them in some certain place in the room but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that if you want to see how I style my plants basically it's just moving them around until they're sitting in a space where I like the way they look and then that's that <laughs> until I get save it and then I move them around again <laughs> Yeah, I guess that is it for this video. That's all the pots that I got from Ikea. Obviously, there are a lot more options, colors, shapes, finishes, sizes on the Ikea website. But this is kind of what I went with because this is kind of my taste. This is my style. And uh, I hope you guys either found it really, really interesting. And if you didn't, then give the video a thumbs down. Let me know. I want to know what you think. But yeah, that's that's basically it for this video. That was my experience shopping for plant pots from IKEA. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.